Hey guys, what is going on? So I'm here with my reindeers and my Christmas shirt, and I'm so excited, as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail, I am doing my very first collaboration with Mike Vaughn, a YouTuber from the channel On My Mind Entertainment. He does film reviews and reactions, and it's a great time over there. And we decided to do a holiday theme collaboration where every Friday leading up to December 24th, we would share our top four favorite films that we love to watch during the holiday season. Now, if you come to my channel, you'll hear my list that I love, and then you'll hear why he thinks it's not the best. While if you go over and subscribe to his channel, which you definitely should, you'll hear what he loves, and I'll share with him why I think it's not the best. It's gonna be a great time, guys. First off, if you guys have not yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as well as his. Information about his will be linked in the description bar below, as well as, at the end of each video, you'll have a little card with his picture up there to subscribe and watch it right after this video because it's gonna be a great time, I promise you. Also, don't forget to comment below what you think about each film that is being discussed on each video and share with us what you are watching during the holiday season in your house. All right, so it's gonna be a film that I did not expect to like, but you know, sometimes you, throughout all the ridiculousness that comes out nowadays, you might find some gems. And this gem comes from Peacock, a 2020 film called Fat Man, sorry Mel Gibson, as Kris Kringle. Now, and this is the thing about this film. Sometimes when I'm watching films, I go into a film expecting to hate it. Literally, especially films that have been coming up within the past five years, I just expect to hate it. This film I loved unnecessarily. It's so over the top, so dramatic. And it's a very simple story. This really rich kid who is just not doing the best. He's actually a very, very naughty, naughty kid. He ends up getting cold. He hires a hitman to kill Santa Claus. <laughs> What's the job? I'd like you to kill Santa Claus. So the whole story is over this kid who is so angry and just has a lot of money that he just happens to come across. And he hires a man to kill Santa Claus because he got cold. Yeah, I just The reason why I love this film was one, I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. Also, when you have a cast like the one that's in this film, it's kind of hard to see it going in any other direction than just great, despite how ridiculous the story actually is. So Mel Gibson is Chris Kringle, which by the way, wow. From his lethal weapon days to now, the man just gets better with age and he is terribly scary. Why would you ever want to cross a man like him? Then you have Walton Goggins, who literally plays like the racist, the villain in every film that he's in, but he's good. Like he's a really good actor though. And we have Marianne Jean Baptiste, who I've seen in other films, but I can't really pinpoint like where, but she's a decent actress and she's actually good in this film. Then we have the kid, the, the naughty kid. You know what's funny though? This film could have totally have just been terrible. If it was a totally different cast with that same plot, I don't think the story would have been as good as it was. It's so over the top, but it committed to it. People are aware of Santa Claus. Like Santa Claus is a normal person that people know about in just their everyday life. He's not like this fairy tale person that you tell kids about while parents are buying the gifts. He's coming down people's chimneys and it's a thing that's a common thing that everybody knows about. So it just adds to the hilarity that is this film. And so when things are happening, it's like, oh shoot, like, it should be it shouldn't be as intense as it is but damn it it's so intense and I'm here for it for a 2020 film that came out on Peacock I was impressed Fat Man is my number four film that I love to watch during the holiday season but I wonder what Mike thinks about this let me hear what you got to say Mike Fat Man Ali come on really Fat Man <laughs> All right, look, I'll, I'll agree. I had some fun with it, but uh, I'm going to give you my reasons why it's not a top spot Christmas movie. Uh, definitely not top four. I mean, come on, come on. But Fat Man, come on. All right, look, look I, I got two reasons, just two, just two, why this is not a top spot movie for Christmas, okay? Shouldn't be on anybody's top list. Maybe top 10, but not top four, okay? One, uh, this movie makes you ask, too many questions. It brings up so many questions and it doesn't want to answer any of those questions. Okay. Th this boy should not have been surprised that he got cold. This couldn't have been the first time he got cold. Okay. If it was, that's a little bit nuts because this kid is a horrible child. Poor decisions. What the hell? 
the big man's head. Severed heads rot, they mold. They don't want his beard. I'm not shaving off a dead man's beard. Also, at one point when the assassin comes after Santa, Santa says, you wouldn't be the first. Pretty much saying you wouldn't be the first to come after me. I've come for your head. You think you're the first? And so why wouldn't his arsenal be a little bit larger? He only had like three guns, maybe four guns that we see in the film. So I'm guessing, hey, if many people have come after you, you be ready. And he seems to be a violent man, seeing how our first introduction to him is him shooting cans off of his fence at his house. So, I mean, obviously he's, you know, he's practicing. He's getting ready for something. Last thing, and I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I had fun with it. I just think it did end on a whimper a little bit, but it's a fun movie for what it is. Like you said, it knows what it is. And it's playing with that to a degree. And I think they did a good job here. But again, it's not a top Christmas movie. And one of the biggest reasons for me is that it changes too often between a family drama, a revenge tale, uh, an action film, and somewhat of a fantasy film when you got the elves involved. And it doesn't do it all in the greatest way, uh, in my opinion. It does use your pre-existing knowledge of Santa Claus to kind of fill in the blanks in certain areas, but uh, that didn't all the way work for me with what it was trying to do here. Again, fun film. I'm surprised it's your number four, Allie, to be honest, but <laughs> many other movies I think could be number four. And this one's fun, like I keep saying, I keep saying fun, but there were some issues I had with it. And these are just a couple, but just some thoughts on your number four pick. I'm sure you got some thoughts on mine, uh, which I'm ready to hear what you got uh, for mine. But uh, yeah, Fat Man, fun flick. I keep saying that, but shouldn't be top four. All right, Mike, you have some good points there, but let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with Mike? Do you guys know anything about Fat Man? Have you seen it? Is it something that you can see yourself watching during the holiday season? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be very intrigued to hear what you guys think, read what you guys think, because I can't hear comments. Also, if you guys do not know, information for On My Mind Entertainment is going to be linked in the description bar below, as well as if you stay to the end of this video, you'll see his card on the screen and you can go over and subscribe, because he did a video as well, and I think you will enjoy what he says his top four film is and you'll hear what my rebut is it's gonna be entertaining let me tell you this is gonna be going on every Friday until Christmas Eve where we talk about our number one favorite Christmas film that we like to watch and if you want to not miss a single episode don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for both of our channels so you never miss the new videos that we have coming out all my mind entertainment does film reactions reviews and it's a great time over there when it comes to films and me I do the same thing but not as consistent as him. I'm trying to get on that level. Let me tell you, I'm trying to get on that level. Right now I do like a couple of videos a week, but I'm definitely trying to get back up there. But if you enjoy the content thus far, ew, why did I say it like that? But if you enjoy the content thus far, you know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next video.